Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, in part five of our series on the three testaments of the Bible, the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Third Testament. And in this video, we're going to get into more of why it has been rejected by certain people, why certain people have no faith in this scripture. Well, it tells us pretty plainly right here in the words of this document why that would be it was actually a prophecy given for these certain people. So let's just jump right into it. Verse 30 says, this teaching is the road to eternal life. All who discover elevation and perfection in this doctrine will know how to reconcile it to that which I confided to you when I was on earth, for its essence is the same. Talking about this third testament of the Bible when it says this teaching. And what it's saying is that this teaching is the road to eternal life. In other words, it is identifying that path, letting us know what we have to do in order to realize this eternal life. It explains what it is, how it works. All in the third testament of the Bible, we find out that we are actually spiritual beings and we live forever. It goes into detail why that is. But this was explained by our Messiah back in the New Testament. We were foretold about this in the New Testament without any explanation. Well, it is in the Third Testament that we actually get this explanation, where we discover the elevation and perfection so that we can reconcile what the Messiah tried to tell us in the New Testament. Verse 31 says, He who does not know how to find the truth contained in my lessons may even affirm that this doctrine does not lead to the same end as the teachings of Yasun. Spirits blinded by misinterpretations or confused by religious fanaticism may not quickly understand the truth of these revelations, but must travel a road of trials to quit themselves of the materialism that prevents them from understanding and complying with my precept that teaches you to love one another. So there's a lot going on in this verse right here. First of all, explaining who it is that is in rejection of this word. You've seen them down in the comment section explicitly, but you've seen many other ministers who don't talk about this document who are rejecting it implicitly, basically trying to keep their followers unaware of this document by not letting them know that it even exists. It says here that these people are blinded by misinterpretations or confused by religious fanaticism. In other words, all while they was reading religious documents, instead of reading the scripture, they were filling their heads with false doctrines and false teachings, thinking that they was getting biblical truths. And so now when the scripture is presented to them and it doesn't line up with what they learned from man, they're confused. They don't know what to believe. They would actually have to go read the Bible, just like the unwise virgins. They would have to go back and start from the beginning, reading scripture and scripture alone so that they can know what truth is. So when the truth of the third testament is presented to them, they won't reject it. But this is the same thing that they did during the Messiah's time. They did the exact same thing then too. When the Messiah presented himself to them, the Pharisees and the Sadducees said that he was going against the teachings of Moses. But it was only after they had put him on the cross that they come to learn the truth that he was actually affirming or confirming everything that Moses had said and that's going to be the case this time too. But they're not going to put the third testament on the cross like they did before. You see down here, it says what's actually going to happen to them. What's going to convince them this time? It says that they must travel a road of trials to quit themselves of the materialism that prevents them from understanding. So in other words, the apocalypse, the tribulation, the global earthquake, the floods, the fire, 
all of those things that we recognize coming up on the world in these end times is this road of trials that they will go through, stripping them of their material possessions. Those things that interfere with their relationship with our father, things that they take comfort in, things that they use to substitute our father's provisions, his protections, everything that he wants to provide for us. Man has found a way to substitute him or circumvent his authority. Well, all of that's going away. And when it does, then those same people who have so much negative to say about the third testament of the Bible will find themselves complying with these precepts. They will find themselves yearning for this information, seeking it out. All we could do is hope that somebody will have a copy to share with them. It's going to be a sad day remembering all the material possessions they had and how they squandered them during this time of peace when they could have been using them to help their brother or even help themselves to get this understanding. But anyway, in the meantime, we'll have to just worry about ourselves, I guess, and continue to study this word. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and are checking out the rest of this mini series on the three testaments. You should be getting links to some of the other classes we've done in this series. Or maybe you could check out one of the other videos that are popping up on your screen that you'll find interesting. In the meantime, leave us a comment and pray for us. Salawama. So